Hey guys, today is March 12th, I believe, so, uh, anyhow, as I said in one of my other videos, I don't even remember, but I said, since I get these books, I might as well do a video on every time I get a new one, so, this is the March and April one, and you can tell it has a 7 7 on the front, so, obviously you guys already know, because I've already went through all the books I have that are in, that has to do with this, so, um, those of you guys that do not know, and if you guys did not watch the other previous videos about the Oliver history, that Oliver made two 770s. This is the later version. This is this was designed to look like the 16. This is around the 1600. Whenever they built the 1600, and the 1800, 1900. See, there's the old there's the old school 770. This is the newer style. I don't remember when they. I don't remember what year that they started these. But, um, never mind, I thought I heard something, but, um, there's a 7, there's the, uh, old school 770. This whole thing's basically about 770s, so, and these were, and if you guys obviously don't know that the 770s are built with a gas and diesel engine, so, um, six-cylinder walker shop, and, uh, there's the, there's an 882, which, for those of you guys that don't know, they made two 880s, they made, well, I should say that they painted an 880, I think they painted 500, I think, or 200 in the 880 mist green color. The only reason why they used the mist green color, it doesn't even, I don't think that's mist green, but we're just gonna go for it for right now, but, um, they painted two, so that way it'll, that way you could distinguish the two tractors between the 880 and 770. And if I can find an 880 and a 770 in here, I can show you. I don't remember if I showed, I don't remember if I talked about that in those previous videos or not. But, um, another thing, obviously you got that, I, I really didn't even know this too. I mean, I've heard of them building this, but they made, all of them made in 1865, which was designed to, um, no, oh man, where the heck is it? I just seen it. Um, so this was designed to basically like the G950 Moline or Minneapolis Moline, whatever you want to call it. That's what it looks like. And I'm not sure how many there is even in existence. I mean, I heard about them building those, but I've never actually seen a picture of one. So, but you can read over that. So, um, there's the 1800. This is the this is the newer style 1800 <clears throat> because they designed them like the 50 series so so obviously if you guys know the 1650 became there the 1600 became 1650 the 1800 became 1850 and then the 1900 became the 1950 and the 1950t I should say too because it's also in with the category but those of you guys that don't know they did make four wheel drive 1800s I think they made four wheel drive 1600s. I know they made a 1900, so the 1600 one, I'm not 100% sure, but I know the 1800 they did because it's obviously right there, so, um, but these were the Waukesha six-cylinder diesel, too, um, diesel or gas, it don't matter, because they were optional with both, and I think everything was optional with LP and propane, too, so. Um, I don't, I'm trying to look and see what else, but you need tires and rims, so there you go. But, um, I've already talked about the fleet lines, and those of you guys that don't know, they made a 99 too, part of the fleet line series, and then later on it became the Super 99 with the Detroit. That has a Waukesha in it, I think. I don't know. Well, there's your uh, listings of stuff. That they have, I guess. So, um... Yeah, there's the... Yeah, the 66, 77, 88, 99 are all on that chart. And, um... There's a... Yeah, that's a 2255. But I'm gonna take a guess and say this is all their tractors, too. Yeah, because there's a... I think it's... I think it's all theirs. Yeah, I think so. But 
But, um, anyhow, there's a 1655. But there's a whole list of tractors. There's the seven. There's the old school 770. Yeah, I bet that, well, fender mount radio worked real well. For as old as it is, it probably did work pretty good, so. And another thing that you guys, if you guys didn't know that, they made an industrial 770. They made a clock shot 770, which that tractor is a sharp looking tractor. My brother actually has a toy version of, uh, I don't remember if it's this style grill or the checkerboard grill, but it's the exact same color like that. And they also made a 770 for the military, if you guys didn't know that. I'm sure there's some of you guys that are military experts in my channel. But, um, that's what I always thought. The, the military uh, tractors and trucks and everything are cool. And dozers and all that, so. Basically, anything that's used in the military I thought was pretty cool, but. I guess that's all your uh, specs and everything. Yeah, specifications for a 770 right there. So, um... I'm trying to see if I can find a picture of an 880. And those of you guys that don't know, they made a 500 all over too. But, um... I don't really know too much about the 500, so... We're just going to not talk about those right now. So, um... There's a bunch of Olivers. I was just looking to see where the heck it's at. I think Dover PA is like, I don't even know how many hours for me. It's not that far, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure. I never looked it up. So, um. But basically the same routine that's always in all these books. So. Um. You get yourself all of the merchandise and all this other stuff that you guys could probably get. But, um. That's it for this if you guys want to order right there it is if you guys want to receive these books too but there's the super 99 with the detroit like i talked about with the regular 99 but um that's all for this video and that's nice looking 66 or 660 that's actually really nice so as always don't forget to comment rate and subscribe